Good morning, everyone. Today I'm here to tell you about Chinese New Year. Now on Ch what is Chinese New Year? Hi, Chu. Hi. Uh, where was I? Ah, yes, Chinese New Year. What is Chinese New Year? Well, Chu. Chinese New Year, also known as the Lunar New Year, is a festival that they celebrate in China and in the rest of the world. They say goodbye to the old year and they welcome in the new year. And today we are going to learn about Chinese New Year. Oh, okay, okay. Why are you wearing that jacket? This jacket? Uh, well, actually, every time I click my fingers, my jacket changes color. And people wear these special jackets during Chinese New Year. They like to wear bright colors like green or gold or red or blue. And that's why I'm wearing this jacket. Achoo! Stop changing my jacket. I'm trying to tell everyone about the story and I'm trying to tell them about red packets. Oh, okay, okay. What's a red packet? What? What's a red packet? A red packet? Packet? You said a red packet? Packet! is oh a red packet what's a red packet you can call it a red packet you can call it a red pocket you can call it a red envelope actually in Nick's story they call it a red envelope oh yeah and it says all these things in Nick's story. Who, who is Nick? This is Nick. We're trying to read a story about Nick and Chinese New Year. But first, Achoo, I think I need to tell you more words from Chinese New Year because I do not want you interrupting me every five seconds with what? Who is Nick? Red pocket, red packet, red, red, red envelope. Okay? So I will tell you all of the new words that we're learning today. Let's see how many you can remember, okay? Okay, here we go. We have red packets, spring cleaning, Chinese candy box, red decorations, Haircut, reunion dinner, parade, firecrackers, dragon dance, turnip cake, mandarins. Happy Chinese New Year! Okay, Achu, how many can you remember? Hmm, well, there was the, um, uh... The red uh, turnip um, haircut? There are so many! Maybe the boys and girls can help me remember some of the vocabulary words. Okay, that's a great idea. So, boys and girls, help a chew remember the words from Chinese New Year. You have to copy after me, okay? We have red packets. Red. Packets. Spring cleaning. Spring cleaning. Chinese candy box. Chinese candy box. Red decorations. Red decorations. Reunion dinner. Reunion dinner. Haircut. Haircut. Parade. Fire crackers. Fire crackers. 
crackers. Dragon dance. Dragon dance. Turnip cake. Turnip cake. Mandarins. Mandarins. Happy Chinese New Year. Happy Chinese New Year. How many did you remember? If you got 10, you can give yourself a big pat on the back. Good, 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 you are good. Good, 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 you are good. Thanks, Chu. I think the boys and girls, and I think you, Chu, are ready to read Nick's New Year. This story is called Celebrating Chinese New Year. Let's read this book together. This book is called Celebrating Chinese New Year. This is Nick. We can say, hello, Nick. Hello, Nick. And that's why it also says here, Nick's New Year. Let's read together. Nick's New Year. My friend Nick celebrates Chinese New Year. He is Chinese American. Chinese New Year comes in January and February. It lasts for 15 days. Ooh, do you remember what is this one? This has a name. It's got a special name in Chinese. In English, we would just call this a Chinese candy box. Do you remember the name of these? They are small oranges. In English, we call them mandarins. Mandarins. Fantastic. Oh, and finally, what is Nick putting on these flowers? These are the red packets, but in America, they call them red envelopes. So he has got some red packets or red envelopes. Let's see how many. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven red packets or seven red envelopes. Let's see. Before New Year's Day, Nick helps his family clean the house. They are doing their spring cleaning. This gets rid of all the bad luck from last year. Ooh, this is one of our vocabulary words too. Do you remember what are these called? And this is also one. And maybe this is also one. This is a small mandarin tree, but it is also one of these things. They are decorations. Let's see. They put up red decorations. Red is a lucky color. Yeah, Nick and his dad and his mum are decorating their house. Nick's family cooks a lot of food for New Year's Eve dinner or the reunion dinner. They cook a lot of food for this special dinner. What are they making here? Can you see? It looks like they're making steamed dumplings, I think. I think they're making steamed dumplings. Let's see. Nick's family gives him and his sister red envelopes. Here we go, red envelopes. Or some people actually call them envelopes, but that's a different story. They get some red packets or some red envelopes from their mum and their dad. I thought for Chinese New Year, you have to accept things with two hands, but here they are only using one hand each. I don't know why. Maybe you can tell me the next time you see me. Why are they just using one hand? Is that rude? I'm not sure. The envelopes have money inside. Oh, thank Dad, thank you, Mum. Can you see they, there is some money inside? It looks like one US dollar because remember they are American. Can you tell me what is Nick doing now? Nick is having a haircut. Nick gets a haircut for Chinese New Year. I probably also should get a haircut. My hair is very too long, maybe too long and too messy. Okay. 
Everyone gets a haircut and wears new clothes. These are clothes. This is a special type of clothes. This is called a jacket. A Chinese New Year jacket. Oh, and it looks like there's a parade. Let's see, we have a girl is doing a parade. This girl is also doing the parade. They're all doing some dance for the parade. We have this boy is banging the drums. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. And this boy is also doing some kind of dancing with these flags. And they are doing that down the street. And when there are many people doing this kind of thing in the street, people come and watch them. And that is called a parade. Okay, let's see. Nick invited me to a parade on the last day of the old year. There were dancers, firecrackers, and music. Well, I can see the dancers, and he's a dancer, but I can't see any firecrackers or music. Maybe you can see. And do you know what this one is, this long one? This is a dragon. This is the Chinese New Year dragon. I think these people are doing the dragon dance. I want to ask, have you ever seen a dragon dance? I saw one in my first year in Hong Kong, but in England, we don't have any dragon dances. So if you meet an English person, you can tell them what a dragon dance is and they will be amazed because there's so many people holding this dragon and it is so long and so beautiful as well. Let's see. Dragon dancers danced down the street. One person held the dragon's head. Many people held the long body. The dragon is a sign of good luck. The dance celebrates the beginning of spring. Oh, here they are. Oh, and we have some firecrackers. Can you see where are the firecrackers? Is this the firecracker? No, this is a lantern shaped like a duck or an ostrich. These are lanterns. This is the firecracker over here. These are firecrackers. Let's see. The firecrackers come after the dragon dance. Lanterns light up the night sky. Can you quickly tell me what color are the lanterns? Yes, but can you say it in a full sentence? The lanterns are yellow. The lanterns are yellow. Let's see. Ooh, you might have to help me read this page. It says, everyone says, Gung Hei Fat Choi. What is Gung Hei Fat Choi? To wish each other a happy new year. Do you know what Gung Hei Fat Choi means? I'm not sure, we don't say that in England. Let me see. Oh, this is Chinese, it's not English. That's why I don't know how to say it. It says, Kong Hei Fat Choi. Oh, it doesn't. What does that say? That says San Hei. I don't know, you can probably read this, but I can't. That to me doesn't look like this, but it says, Gong Hei Fat Choi, Gong Hei Fat Choi, and you can sing that song. Gong Shi 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 Ni. I think that's how the song goes. But yes, this was the Chinese New Year parade, and that is how Nick celebrates Chinese New Year. Did you like this book? You can say, I like this book. I like this book. Okay, fantastic. Okay, so you and your classmates and your teacher, if she wants to help you, can now do a crossword. I have made a crossword for you to help practice the vocabulary that we learned today. So now you should be able to see the crossword. Pause the video now and try and complete the crossword. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the crossword. I hope you managed to get as many of the answers as possible. Um, if you didn't get all of the answers, I will put the answers at the end of this video so you can look at what the correct answers are. 
Um, that is all we've got time for. Well done for everyone today and happy Chinese New Year. You can say happy Chinese New Year. Bye bye. Yeah, <laughs>